Okay, I'm, I'm excited to see that. Okay, here that. we go. Como and Shuton. No, Como right with the shulk. <laughs> I mean, uh, Shuton. Was, uh, was Shuton in the shulk round, Robin? It wasn't a one round Robin. It was just a straight up shulk bracket, as far as I know. Yeah. Uh, he was in it, though. I'm yeah, sure. I know uh, him and Kameme was in there. You know, I think, I believe Como's gone all Sonic. I haven't seen the cloud uh, at all, at least from what I've seen. But anyways. Yeah, he was just like, oh, I played enough that it switch fast. Yeah. All right, let's see what Kome uh, Komis, uh, trying to do the thing where you read one step ahead after the mix-up for Sonic. Uh, it's not quite working out so far, but maybe he'll try to elicit a mix-up out of uh, Komori Kiri to be able to get that. Ooh, and he just uses the air slash, he gets out of that forward smash at the ledge situation. But right now, kind of, Komo is running away with us a little bit. Yeah. Good call out from uh, from Komori Kiri. It's just able to catch the jump and air dodge onto the stage. And when Shulk is in jump art, he definitely likes to act like a Nestor or a Lucas where you just jump air dodge to the stage. Yeah, but without like the super broken air dodge. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it looks like Shuton's like trying to figure out what to do, and Como's just sitting there. That was unfortunate. Uh, Shuton probably could have got something out of it if he just went for the immediate fair, but he kind of yeah, hesitated. He was for, I think he was looking for like maybe an air dodge read back air or down air. Yeah. And then once he wasn't going for it, he pulled the trigger. That was just a big uh, mix-up thing, so that was unfortunate overall. Yeah. So Shuton's definitely playing an uphill battle so far. Let's see if he can get something here. Oh, he, no. Yeah, he did. He has deed. Yeah, okay. yeah, I played him. Mm -hmm. I think he used his jump somewhere and then didn't make it back to the stage, so he wasn't able to get out of it. Yeah, I don't believe he was uh, even paying attention to that too much. <laughs> Forward tail Buster Art does 70%. Dang. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, Buster Shulk is uh, nothing to scoff at. We'll do, like, one combo, and, like, you'll take so much percent. Speaking of which, uh, okay, still a quick 40, making up half the damage in one quick conversion. Yep. Oh, okay, so Shuton's been attacking in place on that down throw every time. So, Komori Kiri is able to call that out, and again, another jump air dodge <laughs> to the stage, and Sonic's just fast enough to be able to intercept that relatively easily. Mm. I'm gonna call it the fair, gonna have a quick enough jab. Alright, let's see what he does. He just gets caught there. Now we got shield art going on. But, okay, yeah, he, he's recognizing that Komori Kiri is just not gonna deal with shield art. Uh, Shulk doesn't really need to do anything, so yeah, he's you just might gonna play his game. You might as well go for the, sh the speed, or if you're cheeky, go for, uh... Mass to maybe take the stock a little early. Wow, the front hit of the back there actually able to intercept. We got the shield art again. I okay. still think in terms of uh, Sonic, it's a little too early for shield, but as I say that, immediately going out of it. Oh, calling out the up air! Bang! I am... Wow. Wow, that was a... Uh, if there was ever a time to do that, there was then. Yeah, he just, gunned, he just gunned for it, man. It was completely safe, too, because he just did an unwise spring and he just able to catch it and intercept it in time. That was... Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was good. Yeah, I, I, is Shutong going to switch? He's like, yeah, you know what? I robbed you. Maybe he's waiting for the stage as well because it, we could see some going back and forth uh, because... Well, actually, no. I think, Sh I think Shulk does decently well against uh, Cloud, actually. So... Oh, but going for the, the Olimar Corrin. Yeah. Uh, let's not forget that Komori Curry can play most of the Fire Emblem characters relatively well. He also is a, a huge uh, warrior in Fire Emblem Heroes, so. He is? He does? Yeah, he loves playing that game. Yeah, that makes sense. I wanted to see the Roy, but I guess he wanted a good matchup. <laughs> yeah. If Shuton goes Bayo, maybe we'll see the Roy. But I don't think. Does Shuton have a Bayo? <laughs> No, I don't think so. <laughs> I was going to say, like, that'd be interesting to see. Yeah. All right, two reds and a purple. Pretty good damage output. Uh, if it was a white in there, it would definitely be super good. But, uh, yeah, he's still getting a decent amount of damage and pretty much yet to be touched. All right. Oh, uh, he was looking for uh, an air dodge. Yeah. That was a really good cross-up, though. He was able to catch him on the landing. Oh, calling him out on the uh, D.I.N. Jabs out. Ooh, tries to go for an instant pin, but Olimar really small, so the hitbox wasn't quite able to connect. Is it going to go run off there? I wonder if Olimar's uh, dare is like, good enough to be able to beat horns up B. I, I think he just has to straight think. beat it. He has to like do it before he starts the up B, but it's like, hard to do it as it happens because of yeah. the wings and Olimar's height. Yeah. 
Oh, tries to armor through the kick of the dragon lunge. He's trying for like an, an armor up air. Uh, but so much pressure. I like that from the purple Pikmin elicits a shield and just able to catch an option after that. Sniping him out with the white again. A lot of damage coming in. Drag down there. Not able to get a cross up. He's doing a lot of mix ups, but he's not going for like the straight like drag down into like a down smash, for example. Yeah, that's what I expected him to go for. Mm -hmm. And again, trying to whistle. Oh yeah, trying to whistle through it. But Corrin's up air is pretty fast, so it's hard to. It, you, you can't react to it. You have to like guess. Actually, for a lot of situations, you do have to guess as uh, Olimar. So that's what makes it kind of difficult. Exactly. But although uh, Como's kind of been getting slapped around, he's brought this back to a part where uh, where he could actually take the stock first. Yeah. If he went for a quick back air after that landing drag down air, I thought he would have been able to do it, but uh, he really hesitated on that one. He went really slow on that, maybe hoping that Comer Kiri would drop shield. Yeah, I think he's at a point where maybe up throw could uh, kill for either party. Oh boy, that was really scary on a boxing situation. Catches him in tumble uh, with the Pikmin. We have a purple out right now, trying to get a straight hit. Oh, so much pressure, trying to get out of there. Oh, the pin was an interesting option. Maybe he was trying to read a runoff, but... Yeah, I think he was trying to catch him, like, going back down from it after so much pressure because his shield was looking really small, so he couldn't probably take another one of those hits. Yeah, calling out the jump with the fair, like, it was a purple, he was at 190%. Nothing was going to save you. Yep. Get the back air out. Oh, that was a, that was a lot of pressure. Oh, down throw into up air, scoops him up. He gets the up tilt. Wow, he just, he just really wants to try to go for the bite there. That was a weird call out. Oh, yeah, Como's just kind of running at Shutong right now, trying to get the stock, but that's exactly what Olimar's want to happen. Oh, Three. yep, can't Wait, do that. Wait, that was, that was a meaty one. Yeah, just, just space it out. <laughs> and uh, just force out something out of block, and then he's able to get that forward smash. So, pretty good. Yep, Shutong up 2-0 right now. Yep. All right, this is the time for the Roy, baby. No, it's not. I know. It's definitely not the... Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. I was like... <laughs> it was really close. It was really I was like, like, hold up. He went to the Roy and then went Cloud. Okay. He's like, you know what? I need an even bigger sword. Yeah. I do think that Olimar actually does reasonably well against Cloud. Um, just because the way of how um, Cloud likes to juggle, it's a little bit predictable. So then Shuton can definitely do a lot. Plus the way the Pikmin play, it can kind of break zoning uh, that Cloud likes to do with Limit Break and... Uh, Zoning with aerials, you can just kind of break space. However, you do have the up air that just invalidates Olimar. Yeah, it just gets all of the Pikmin off you because the first couple frames of that move, it just covers his entire body. Yeah, and the other fact to watch out for is a lot of is clouds that like to go for full hop there, uh, just a falling back air. Olimar, a fan of the pivot grab, so he can kind of call that out. Yeah. Although, Olmar is short also, so sometimes spacing bear it doesn't work as optimally as it can against like a tall character like, say, Rosa. However, this is also where we see a lot of advantages for Cloud, just uh, not allowing the different options for Shuton to try and make it back to the stage work out. Well, that third was looking meaty, not going to take the stock though. Yeah, try to do the 2016, which is uh, throw out Limit Cloth Slash at the ledge and hope that they run into it somehow. Definitely works though. It yeah, no, it definitely <laughs> still does work. Yeah, it's, it's just that you have to do it in between, uh, like just pressuring with like your say shields with neutral gathers and stuff like that. Yeah, it's still, a, it is definitely still a force to be reckoned with. Oh, that was a uh, ill-advised dare. Oh man, the purple is gonna be. Wait, he didn't survive. Yeah, he was afraid of the Pikmin, man. He was, he wanted to get the optimal height, but it just didn't work out there. Mm. Yeah, that was definitely some mad respect going in for uh, Koma. Yep. Como on his winner side stock though. Let's see what his answer is going to be. Yeah. And the answer is the limit. And he taunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just, he just knows that. He, I'm going to let you have limit. There's not much I should do about that. No, nothing better to do than just taunt and have fun. Mm -hmm. One thing I am trying to, I think I am seeing Chutan try to do is that once you catch the cloud, you doing the up air to get the Pikmin off, he is stuck in that animation because it has and a, a bit more of lag. Yeah, because it has a long uh, duration. So maybe Chutan's trying to catch something on whiff and el elicit uh, like a bait or something using the Pikmin. So again, just a bunch of mix-ups going on top of each other. I like these uh, turnaround uh, up airs that Chutan are doing. I think that's how he gets a double up air is that he needs because the uh, up air comes from behind towards his head, kind of like in Mario up smash. Yep, just get the purple pigment off them. Falling up air that's really big. But as we start, it's, carry, yeah. it's already even. Down throw back air. Yep. Throw him off stage. Yep. 
Able to jump back to the stage. That's really big for Como to be able to keep Limit. And the way Como played that first time, he just needs one more advantage and he's going to be able to even this up. Oh, wow. The dash attack actually clanks with the, with the purple Pikmin, yeah. Oh, great perfect shield. That's how you punish it, F-Smash. Oh, that's still connected. Gonna take it. Yeah. It looked, Just like, barely. it looked like he tried to neutral get a whistle, but... It, that might it, not it, have been the time. Yeah, it caught him on the, what is it, the startup of it, so it wasn't quite able to work. Yeah, it looks... He, I think shielding would have been the better option, but the whistle you would have been able to, like, get a punish off. Yeah. Especially since it was the last hit, you would have... Oh, what did we unlock? We locked a trophy. Collect over something, something gold. Let's go. I, let's go. Nice. I was loving when you're playing on a Wii U, and then all of a sudden it's like, you've played 1,000 matches. And I'm like... Only? Only, right? <laughs> well, it's a stream setup. You can't put everyone on stream. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Going back to Town City. Let's see if Shuton can try and mix things up again. Ah, oh, and he tried to catch him in between cross, cross slash 2 and 3, but mm. didn't quite get the grab out of time. So, Shuton counterpicking to Town and City. But I feel like Komo's just going to resort to a bit of uh, circle camping. As he is actually doing. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's not all the time though, because it, it you do have three different variations of the town and city stage. So he probably wanted the one with FD the most. So yeah, we'll see what happens though. Oh wow, that was really unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> close quarters combat there. Uh, Shoot on able to get the got the read, but the wrong execution. Oh boy, oh. that was. <laughs> Cut out the air dodge, but Shuton did a uh, drift in at the last second. Or away. Alright, Red Pikmin's on. Uses the force to try and get off, but it was really close, so Shuton able to get a small punish off of that. Oh! oh he walked into it! And but well, we're gonna live. Wow, Town City gonna save him. Yeah. If you are um, across the stage and you're flying to the other side from the limit cross slash, you do wanna just DI down and in rather than doing a straight in because you might die off the top instead. And it looked like Shuton was ready for that DI, so very wise from him. Tossing out. Oh, oh man, poor, poor poor yellow, yellow. pick man. He just he just you threw him no, out there. You have no place here. <laughs> yeah, that's a real trooper, man. Yeah, man, Pikmin, uh, they're dedicated. They want their captain to win this match. Down for back here. Nothing gonna happen yet. Oh, get off my, get out of my face. <laughs> yeah, definitely something that people still fall for. So it's and definitely just, a good option. The mix up with lemons are just. There's so many dumb things Cloud can do, but the dumb things can still work because it's Cloud. Yep. There we go. Up throw. So. Olimar is definitely one of those characters that can do a <laughs> can do a comeback. So, but he definitely needs the right setup, and I think he's getting it. Oh, that was really wise from Cormary Curry. Shuton thought he was gonna catch an air dodge, and he was trying to preserve his jump, but he just did for the immediate one. He's able to get that. Yeah, but still, he oh another cross last. That was good though. Just uh, use the nair to elicit an air dodge, and then fall down faster than him, and then get the cross slash out in time. So yeah, uh, Cloud will be able to take that next game. Man, Cross Slash was the, uh, the the clutch boy in that one. Yep. So we're going back into a game five situation. Como on the cusp of a reverse 3-0. Alrighty, let's see. Going back to oh, going to Battlefield actually. What a what an interesting pick there. Yeah, I think he, he's tired of this dying early business. Oh, triple up air though. That was already 41 percent. However, that is, I mean, it's not like Cloud can't do triple up airs either, so. <laughs> yeah. And these are both like blink and you miss where the damage come from kind of yeah. characters. Yep. All right. Just uh, utilizing his uh, zoning tools to keep Shuton out. He got one up air, wasn't able to get anything else. So when you're at a low enough percent against Cloud, you can usually get out of most stuff. Yeah. But then, like, you kind of take any amount of up airs after that. You're like, well, I'm in the loop now. Yeah. Ooh, trying to go for the mix-up uh, into an immediate forward tilt, but uh, I think it was the down tilt was able to beat that out. Oh, we're gonna catch the air dodge, but canceling it with the, uh, the ledge cancel. Such a, that's, a, that's always a cool thing to do. Yep, oh, double fair mix-up just to be able to make it back on the stage, and... <laughs> that, was a, that was a lot of damage coming in. He needed to get rid of that. Yeah, that was a lot of dead Pikmin, too. Oh, the purple's like just kind of super troopering through the, uh, the cross slash. Yeah. They're thick, man. They they can get through a lot of stuff. Yeah. They can they can they can survive on their own. They're independent. Down throw up here. 
not gonna hit yet. Yeah, I didn't get the uh, right mix up, just went with the air dodge. Oh, wow, <laughs> what the... Wow, he really didn't want that purple in his life. Yeah, that's, that reminds me of Link stabbing Ganon's head at the end of Wind Waker. That was, yeah, that was... <laughs> the poor purple Pikmin, man. Yeah, that was almost unnecessary. Oh, this match. Attack still not enough to do it. Wow, that's... I believe it was a blue. Was it blue? Uh, I, think, I think it was the blue, yeah. That was... Or maybe it was the red. Who knows? But yeah, that's no. A red would have killed because, and we would have seen the flame come out. Oh yeah, that's true, true. Yeah. So okay. I'm pretty sure that was a blue. And electro, you would have seen it. Yeah, it was blue. But Alrighty. there we go. The Up throw. Yeah, I think Homo recognizes he needs limit to be able to kind of bring this back. He's got a lot of stocks with cross flashes. Alrighty, he's just uh, keeping it up. I mean, as long as he doesn't get too hit too much, then because Olimar can really steamroll a lead. And there we go, just uses the back air, puts him off stage, and that's enough time for him to get limit. Is he gonna go for it? No, he does not. I think he's trying to take the stock without limit first. Never nope. mind. I commentary curse. Yeah, yeah, that was a combo special. <laughs> yeah, I think it was just like one of those things where he saw the opportunity. It was like it would be nice if he took it with a back air, but I if he saw the opportunity, he wasn't gonna let it like steamroll from trying to tunnel vision that. Yeah, that's uh, he, exactly that tunnel vision. What separates combo from a lot of the other clouds is. Oh, I don't want to take it with it, but he recognized, like, oh, there's a time to play, so it was definitely it. Yeah, but 71%. Oh, use his jump. Has some force of burn limit. No clip. Oh, wow. That jump was... cross slash. That was a great option, actually. Yeah, definitely risky, but he was able to get a lot out of it. And there we go. Just with that, 40% uh, off of two cross slashes. Yeah, this is uh, this is actually pretty even. I can see anyone taking the stock right now. Yeah. If he gets limit, I mean, he could do the Como special with the... <laughs> The 10k finishing touch or just something else, but... I think Olimar might be a bit too high of a percent right now. Wow, Ooh. air dodge read, double jump out, down air. Uh, this is Up. definitely even. Oh my god! Oh, he uses the whistle! Doesn't even need it, but he's still able to get the back air out. Oh, just use a cross dodge one, two. Oh, oh, oh my god! Purple Monique is an independent Pikmin who doesn't need no cap.